Hi, welcome to A Few Minutes with Margie. I'm Margie Lyman with Dudum Real Estate Group, and I'm here in Walnut Creek today with Jake Brennan, who is the general manager of Ool Beer Cafe and Bottle Shop. So this is a really unique place. This is totally cool. Can you tell me about your business? I've never been to a place like this before. Sure. In yeah. the United States, anyway. Well, welcome, yeah. Uh, Ool means beer, and beer is what we do. We love beer. Uh, we have 18 taps here. We have a, a lineup of fridges where we have hundreds of beers from, you know, local Bay Area beers to beers from all over the world. And we try to stock the best beers we can find. Um, yeah. That's very cool. And this was conceived as a place to introduce beer to the East Bay. Yeah, yeah. Um, from... Our the original idea behind Wool was to bring like Belgian styles and Trappist beers to the East Bay. A lot of people have never tried beers like that, um, and they are super unique, um, and it's an experience every time you try something new from over there. What's a Trappist beer? Uh, Trappist beers, there's an order of monks called Trappist monks, um, and they are, they're kind of all about um, silent contemplative prayer but they also happen to make a lot of beer and it's really good beer um so you know it where, could be worse. Are, where are they uh they're located in, around belgium oh um, for the most okay. part okay and but you have a lot of california beers as well we do yeah I, some of the best beers in the world are made right here in california um we're really lucky to live in the bay area because we have some amazing breweries so um it's not hard to have a tap room here with lots of awesome beer. Yeah, great. That can I can imagine. So, how did you get started in this business, and uh, what was it like when you started? Um, well, I got into this because when I was younger, I was a, a home brewer, and oh. um, I was super interested in beer. Um, I came in here to this bar just as a patron for years, and. Um, there's just, every time you come in here, there's something new to try. There's something you've never even heard of. Um, and so like, it's kind of a home brewer's paradise in that way. Um, and yeah, when I got started, it was just trying lots and lots and lots of beers. You need to be able to communicate to people what they're drinking. Uh, you need to be able to figure out what somebody's gonna like. Yeah really quickly and then you know make a good recommendation so yeah I found I beer. found that to be very true with my when I came here once um, asked for a certain type of beer and got two choices and both were spot-on it was really fun mm -hmm. and so it, you've got some great customer stories to tell um, what what uh, what keeps you going here on uh, the, the fun things and the activities that go on yeah, um, well, I think one of the best things about coming to Ool um, is we have this sort of like tradition in the spirit of this place where if you went and grabbed something from our fridge, something you've never seen before, maybe a big large format bottle and brought it to the bar, the bartender can set you up with a bunch of little glasses and we can just pour a little taste of whatever it is for everybody there at the bar. Um, and then usually what happens next is somebody else sitting at the bar will say, hey, that was great. Let me go grab something I've never heard of. Okay. Um, and so it just starts this like chain reaction of trying beers and before you know it, everybody's smiling, having a great time and uh, you know, you're meeting new people. Right. And it's just kind of, that's the spirit of this place. That sounds like so much fun. That sounds like a lot of my fun. So um, you said this is the most fun job you've ever had. Yeah, easily. And um, probably one of the hardest, too. Oh, uh, well, it's tough, but um, it's it's worth it, you know, to keep that spirit going. Yeah, okay. And then um, what are some things people don't know about this business? Well, one of the things um, that kind of bugs me, honestly, that we get all the time is people come in here and they see the big beer selection. And they're like, wow, this place is awesome. I never knew it was here. Oh. And we've been here for, you know, over a decade. Yeah. So um, it, part of it was, I think we're located in on kind of a weird little street that not a lot of people walk down. So it's, it's like, even though um, this place is really well known to people in the beer loving community in the okay. Bay Area, like we'll get beer lovers coming from all over the Bay. 
people in Walnut Creek who've never walked down the street have no idea that we're even here. We're kind of like a little hidden gem, I guess, yeah. in that way. Yeah, for sure. But you do have two really good restaurants on either side of you. True, yeah. We've got Schipolini's uh, Pizza to one side and then Taco's Walnut Creek just on the other. Yeah. And um, we only serve snacks here, but we let people bring whatever food they want. So we get a lot of people coming to Schipolini's. They'll get their pizza, then they'll come over here and get a really good beer to go with it. And eat their pizza. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. And what would you say what people love most about this business? Um, well, there's a lot of things. There's the beer, obviously, but I would say other than that, um, Ool has just a really chill atmosphere. No children are allowed here. Okay. Um, it's quiet enough that you can have good conversations with people. And like I was saying before, there's just this spirit to this place of like learning about beers and sharing new beers and, and um, yeah, it's just a really special place in that way. How do you find these new beers? And do you, do people bring them to you? I or do you go out and search them out and research? How do you? Um, yeah, it's it's a lot of research. People will bring us beers all the time um, to try. You know, we have good connections with all of the local breweries, but you know, when it comes to finding interesting beers from around the world, you really just need to to look at to look at all the new stuff all the time. It's it's a little overwhelming. Beer is like, it has exploded yes, in the last has. 20 years. There are new beers pop up constantly, every day. Okay. There's something new. You couldn't possibly try them all, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's so you can, you can come here and try most of them. But try as many as you can, yeah. Yeah. yeah, good luck. Yeah, this is quite an array. What a beautiful display here as well. So, and is there anything else you sell besides beer? I mean, what's the rosé splendor up there? Is that a beer? Oh, well, that's, that's a really nice beer. It is a beer, yes, but um, it's a Belgian-inspired beer that has Pinot Noir grapes, as well as um, raspberries, blueberries. You get a lot of stuff like that. We do have some wines here, because not everybody who comes in is a beer lover. You know, sometimes you're coming with a friend, friend. so we want to be able to set you up with something. But I also super recommend trying out, um, we have some hard seltzers that oh, are interesting. Yeah. It's like not, we're not talking about grocery store stuff. Yeah. It's like real fruit in there. Um, and we have some <laughs> nice ciders too that are really fun to try. Oh, okay. I think I need to new, have a little bar stool over there with my name on it. Okay. I think I got it. <laughs> we'll set this. you up. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And what are the goals over the next couple of years for this spot? Uh, yeah, it's been tough for you know everybody a COVID. yeah in the last few years yeah. especially bars in the bay area like this one um we've been lucky that we have you know really dedicated people who love coming here mm -hmm. and they've kept this place alive so i think our goals are just to, to keep that going and then as you know times get a little bit better we'll grow back yep to the way things were before and yeah you know if it, if it ain't broke don't fix it right Right. And what are some exciting things that customers should know about? I know you have a lot of events. Yeah, we do. Uh, we do trivia every Wednesday. The place is always packed for that. Um, everybody loves our trivia guy, Luis. Uh, <laughs> he used to work here, actually. Um, he only recently left, which that isn't fun for us, but we're glad he's still coming back to do trivia. Oh, great. Yeah. And then uh, we do comedy nights. Uh, we work with this really cool troupe of comedians that bring in guests. That's once a month on first Thursdays. Perfect. Um, and then we have lots of little random things that happen all the time. Uh, like the other day we did, I, I brought in some vanilla ice cream and we did stout floats. So you oh. get, you know, scoop of vanilla into a glass, pour a heavy stout over that, get a spoon in there. Yeah, we do stuff like that. The only way to stay on top of that stuff though, follow us on Instagram. That's our main Right, well I'll make right sure now. that that gets heavily promoted in this uh, interview and on my upcoming blog. Well, it was great to meet you. I can't thank you enough. This was a lot of fun. I'm really excited about this place. And if you know anyone who would be interested in either recommending someone for a few minutes with Margie or would like to be interviewed yourself, please get in touch with me. Jake, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Margie.